EA Sports. It's in the game. Welcome to the United Center in Chicago, Illinois, as we get set for tonight's game between the Chicago Bulls and the New York Knicks. All right, as this game gets underway, what's the key to success for New York here tonight? I love the championship pedigree of Pau Gasol, a two-time NBA champion. Remember, the Lakers were stuck in mediocrityville before they got Pau Gasol for their championship run. Even with Kobe Bryant, even with Andrew Bynum, they were stuck in a low 40s winning area. Gasol comes, championships follow. I think the same could happen here in Chicago. I think they have every ingredient to be a championship team. Rose on the drive, at the rim, off the mark. Lopez is looking to do damage in the paint. Chance for a three-point play. Count the basket and the foul. A block called against Gasol. And Carmelo Anthony will go to the line. One shot to complete the three-point play. That's a hoop and a harm. A dunk and a foul. A three-point play possibilities. That's a big-time play by a big-time player. Looking to curl in. Moving the ball, excellent teamwork. Misses his first shot. Defend, defend, defend. Never give in. Good contest, good closeout. This is the type of defense that they must play. Wide open. The Bulls with the offensive rebound to keep it alive. Gets that one to drop. He's averaging 20 points per game this season. When you play that good a defense and you contest the two-point J, you expect a good result there. The offense was just superior. The concentration and the follow-through, he stuck his shot. To Gibson. Terrific block by Anthony. Trying for position in the paint. There's the double team. To Rose. He's averaging 17 points per game this season. The Bulls with the offensive rebound for a second chance opportunity. And they've been coming up with the ball consistently when it's coming off the backboard. They've done a great job on the boards early in this game. And he curls in to the rim. Nice adjustment. Strong rebound by Porzingis. Well, they saw it. A reach in called against Gasol. And the Chicago Bulls make a lineup change. Jeff, we're seeing again how the game has changed so much. Here's this 7 3 kid from Latvia, Kristaps Porzingis. What he's able to do at 7 foot 3, shoot on the perimeter, put it on the floor, it's incredible. Very good skill level. Such a young player, but so advanced when it comes to the skills of offensive basketball. I think he's got a good fit in New York, and I think he's going to get to play, obviously, more than if he had gone to a better team. Drains the three on the catch and shoot from Jimmy Butler. He's averaging 20 points per game this season. He had time to lick his fingers.
There was no one around him. A wide open three point shot. The Knicks with the offensive rebound for another possession. When you see how many rebounds these teams have already combined for, the story about this game is rebounding. But the real story is neither team can make a shot. That's why the rebounding numbers are so high. To Anthony. He's got seven points thus far. Slams it home. Butler on the drive. It's good. A two-pointer. She's averaging 20 points per game this season. That's solid basketball right there. Creating an open two-point shot and knocking it home. Excellent ball movement. Great teamwork. Knocks it down. And Carmelo Anthony with 12 points here in the first. Man, he got that one off quick. Looks to put it back up again. Gets it to go. Kicks it out to the corner. Anthony the jumper. Unable to convert the three. To Gibson. He's averaging six boards per game this season. Portis. Puts it up from downtown. Bang. To Anthony. It'll count if it goes. So that'll end the first quarter. New York's up by three. Stay tuned for more Monday Night NBA presented by ESPN after this short break. One of those games where it seems every shot is falling. Now, what are the coaches saying at this point, Jeff? They can't be happy about the defensive play. I'm not sure it's bad defense, Mike. I just think it's superior offense. Great shot making by both teams. Yes, they have to play a little bit better defense, but let's appreciate the offense. A follow. The Knicks with the offensive rebound for a new 24. Gang rebounding is how you establish a rebounding tone to your team, a toughness to your team. They've established that very well in the first half. Misfires from beyond the arc. And now he moves around the defender, throws it down. The two defenders swarm. Good setup with the entry pass. For the layup, beautiful feed from Derrick Rose. That's his fifth assist. What a job they have done, keeping the ball moving to the open man and creating scoring opportunities for each other. And a nice finish at the basket. He's got six points in this game. Multiple shot opportunities. Great job on the offensive boards, not only securing the rebound, but finishing the play and continuing to build their lead. A follow jump shot. Can't hit from long distance. The NBA game is a long game. You may be down now, but if you string together three or four good possessions at both ends of the floor, you can be right back in. As the double team converge, 24 second violation. That's the shot clock expiring, so it'll be Bulls ball. And we have a couple of substitutions here. Ball's in. The Sol's looking for position in the paint. Chicago's performance today, Jeff, it's obvious they came ready to play. Yeah, and it starts and ends 
with their commitment to rebound the basketball. If you rebound, you're always going to have a chance to win games. Galloway, and here's the double. Fires away for two. Able to knock it down. The Knicks up by five. And what an offensive display we're seeing here today as they continue to wear out the net with all of their scoring. Goes to the goal, unable to flip it in. Closing out defensively is the most important aspect of team defense. Great contest. Galloway jump shot. Galloway's attempt won't go. McDermott wide open for three. The Bulls with control on the rebound. You got to learn to win in different ways. Sometimes all your shots are going in and the rebound totals are down. Here tonight, the ball isn't going in, so you've got to win the battle of the boards. Fires it back out to the perimeter. Puts it up from three-point land. The Knicks with the offensive rebound to keep it alive. And we'll have a 20-second timeout. Remember last season, Jeff? First time NBA history, Powell and Marc Gasol, the first brothers to start in the All-Star game. There are a lot of differences in those two brothers, but they have some similar characteristics as well. Agreed. Both are terrific passers. Both can finish with either hand, and they both with different body types, rebound the basketball. And oh, by the way, we'll probably see both in the Naismith Hall of Fame. Oh, that's a get out of my way. I'm throwing it down. Oh, he just stole his heart with that dunk right there. Goes for the three-pointer. The Bulls with the offensive rebound for a second chance opportunity. He shoots. Derrick Rose with his sixth assist of the night. You're not going to see a better possession in the NBA from both sides of the ball. Good defense, good offense, good offense won out that time. Pass telegraph stolen by Gasol. Rose for two. The Bulls with the offensive rebound for another possession. Spin, he puts it up, hits for two. To Anthony. There's a six second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Oh, a ferocious dunk. Simple. Take advantage of your matchup advantages, creates the angle to the rim and the flush. To McDermott, plenty of time. That's a three-pointer. To Anthony, throws it down. The assist to McDermott, final seconds. Buzzer sounds, and the first half comes to an end. New York's 